The third wave of COVID-19 is a thing of the past in Nova Scotia, but the pandemic is still front and center in the minds of the voting public. People are feeling a lot better about what they need and what they want, and we look for uh, good leadership. Can my kids go to school? Are we going to be able to have steady incomes? Are businesses and shops going to open back up? Political analysts say Liberal Premier Ian Rankin, who's been on the job for only five months, has good reason to be confident that he'll continue a pandemic pattern. Incumbents winning with an increased number of seats. The feds have been showering the province with cash. The province has been showering the people with spending promises. The big health care unions have just signed off on a sweet new agreement. The weather is warm. The mood is high. The bills haven't come in yet. So you know, all the ducks are now in a row. A great time for a sitting premier to go to the polls, except there's been a recent setback for Rankin, an impaired driving conviction that just came to light from when he was a young man. I was fined and my license was suspended for one year. Two years later, I was charged with the same offense, but was eventually found to be innocent. Not exactly. A breathalyzer test showed Rankin was impaired, but he won an appeal on a technicality and was eventually let off the hook. Political damage could be overshadowed by a wide open money hose. Funding things like the $10 a day child care Rankin promised along with the federal government at a cost of $600 million. Affordable child care will benefit thousands of working families, no doubt, particularly women and children in our province. The timing of the election would see the campaign completed before the start of the Mass Casualty Commission's public hearings into the Portapique massacre, which left 22 people dead and sparked outrage that authorities did not prevent it. His opponents, Tim Houston of the PCs and the NDP's Gary Burrell, have more experience as leaders, but neither man has captured the public's attention, something that could be a challenge for all three in a summertime election campaign. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.